Good afternoon guys. It has been a uh, pretty normal morning. Just got to, I have a new class because it's a new month. So, oh, it's bright. Anyway, uh, was just been doing some work on that. This is actually gonna be a pretty fun class. I'm pretty excited about it. Looks like there's gonna be a lot more video work to do in it. And the sun is bright. Not much going on tonight. I gotta catch up on a lot of school because I need to get it all done before Sunday. And I technically want to get it done before tomorrow, just because I don't really want to focus on the shoot I've got tomorrow. So the shoot I've got tomorrow, it's a, basically a concert, and uh, it's big, that's basically it. But um, it's the cello choir, and there's a few other musical instrument things. It's all like orchestra type music, and they want me to film it. It's going to be a logistical nightmare, I think, but the lighting's going to... It's going to be a lot like the wedding and that it's going to be like an event that we have to set up, but the lighting's supposed to be a lot better. You anyway, know, I'm going to get there an hour beforehand to make sure that the lighting's all good. I'm going to get some lunch real quick. So I got a lot of school done today. Um, still have a fairly big assignment that I need to get done tomorrow. Um, also got to get ready for the shoot tomorrow night. A lot going on, but good news is yesterday, and I didn't mention this, but I had this done. So I'm going to run over to Walgreens, drop that off, and I just got some new business cards from Staples. So let's go take a look at those. <music> This makes me happy. 250 of them. See if I can get rid of them in all in a week. Oh, I hope not. I don't want to buy more. <laughs> also, got the camera dropped off. Interesting fact. Really interesting fact. It's it kind of funny in my opinion. Walgreens sends the Kodak film to Fuji. Kodak doesn't even develop it. Fuji develops it. This is kind of funny in my opinion. I mean, I know Fuji, you know, typically did does develop, you know, film and stuff, but this is kind of, you know, Kodak and Fuji were known for the disposable cameras and Kodak's, you know, having their competitor basically develop their film. Yeah, you know, in all honesty, Kodak's struggled very much uh, coming in and out of bankruptcy a lot. So, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, anyway, this, I still got, the, I still have the camera I'm going to take it apart and we're going to take a look at what's inside, but that's going to wait for part two. So as of right now, you don't need to worry about it. So just leaving the club now, let me explain something real quick. A few years ago, there was a phenomenon that kind of started in the fencing community and it was called dagger fencing. Now in Epe, that there's three weapons. There's foil, saber, there's foil, foil, Epe, and saber, okay? And saber, it's like a slashing weapon. You can like, you know, it's kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean. Foil is just the target. It's like a practice. It looks like a practice sword almost. And you can only hit the torso. In Epe, you can hit anything. And the, it's got a huge like bell on the front, big guard. So in Epe, they created this thing called like a dagger. And it's basically got like a little bit of each weapon, but it's super tiny, you know? It's like only about a two, two and a half feet long, if that, maybe two feet long. Anyway, we had some in the closet and it died. It was like a fad thing that just kind of died out. Anyway, I kind of, uh, well, I got all the gear out and I got two Epe fencers and I actually went against them with just two daggers instead. And uh, well, it kind of looked like this.
So as you can see, that was a lot of fun. Very different and unique. In all honesty, we weren't even doing dagger finishing right. We were doing, we were like making up our own rules. I got chicken wings and drumsticks. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and go take care of that.